Oh god, oh Fitz. Come over here, bub. Come here, Fitz. Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I wouldn't normally vlog this early since I have been vlogging my mornings on TikTok this entire month at Kenzie the Texan. Been doing a 5 a.m. morning routine. I'm back home and I just wanna say, my skin was really breaking out in LA. And like, it breaks out when I travel sometimes. I, mean, I understand the pollution in LA, but I think that my body just rejects Los Angeles. Because the second I got back, it's clearing up. And like, I'm just not someone who has, I just like don't break out like that. And I'm just saying. I got home Friday, made it for the rodeo, if you guys saw that vlog. And then yesterday, Macy and I went to the Cowboys game. They lost, unfortunately, to the Packers. But the Cowboys emailed us. If you guys don't know Macy's, TikTok DCC bit basically she has a bit where she's like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader right and it goes on it's like really funny um and we've been wondering like are they going to sue her or are they going to like invite her to a game or something so the Cowboys and SeatGeek invited us both to a Cowboys game and then they were like wait can you film a TikTok for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader TikTok and it was not only a dream come true for Macy, but also for myself. I've been waiting to see this. So it was really fun. We had like the best Sunday and it's just been amazing. We said we were quitting dry January because like we don't really drink enough for it to like make a difference, especially in the past couple of months. And we quit it, but we still haven't drank. So I don't know what that says. Update on the 5 a.m. morning routine. I don't think it's fully sustainable for me. Like I think it would be sustainable for me if I was already like wifed up, honestly. like. Because you know like the early stages of dating when you have to be like more spontaneous and like you're having fun and whatever. I just don't think it's sustainable for that. But I will say I have a lot more control over my day. I'm getting a lot more done. I'm feeling better. I feel like I'm able to like do all the things for myself that I want to do. And then I'm in a better place for the work day. Therefore, I do better work. Anyways, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. And it's dark until like 7 here, right? So I'm thinking like, oh, you know, if there's a little bit of ice on the roads, like that'll be so nice because then my workout will be canceled. And then um, two hours after I'd wake up because, you know, it's dark outside and I hadn't looked outside yet. I get out of the sauna and I see, oh, there is ice everywhere. There is ice all over my car. I have no idea. I mean, it's obviously just gonna melt, but it's currently 13 degrees and I might be snowed in for a couple days. Let's see about this. Texas, if you guys don't drop out of Texas and like ice happens every year and we don't have any infrastructure for it. So it's actually a nightmare. Like my family is originally from the Midwest. So like my parents are always like, you guys can drive in snow, whatever. But it's because the Texas roads are not built for that. Oh, wow. It's not gonna go above 32 until Wednesday. Hope I have enough food. I did make a soup on Sunday. I just wanted to like make another soup. And I have Needlepoint Club tomorrow, guys. Like Needlepoint Club's gonna get canceled. I'm hosting it at my house. Dang it, I wish I would've just gotten a few more things because I wanna actually like cook. Wait, I'm supposed to have a big event. Two big events this week. I think we'll be fine. Okay, well anyways, I'm gonna go run. Um, I can't take myself seriously in this look, but uh, here we are. Subscribe if you're new here. Okay, bye. All right, y'all, I'm ready for the day. I'm in the middle of opening some mail and making some breakfast, but I just got this tray in the mail. My thought process was I really want to have a nice tray in my um, closet room where I do my makeup so I can put all my makeup on here and if I want to take it around the house and do it in different places I can. It is a little small so I'm not sure if this is gonna work but regardless like one thing you can never have too many of is a tray. I'm always using them for random things and it would be cute for hosting like maybe putting glasses on here or whatever. Um, it was on Amazon I'll add it to my storefront but actually like pretty great quality and it came overnight but i just made myself some coffee and i'm making a big mess this is great i've already cleaned this up once update on this little lifner tote i mean i know you guys see it in the vlogs all the time but this is the best tote bag ever it looks so much more expensive than it is um i mean it still is definitely an investment don't get me wrong but there's bags that are way more expensive than this 
I am eating up the JC pregnancies content. Like anytime I think about it, I want to cry. I'm just so happy. Anyways, I went on the phone. Typically, I take Mondays as like any meetings I need to get done or random computer work. So this morning I was working on some new launches for a friend of mine. I had a bunch of calls and I'm working with a consultant, a new consultant for a friend of mine on certain, she's like a production consultant on certain projects. Not everything, but just like basically product development that includes fabric um, and textiles. And I love this consultant because she's teaching me so much. And like her goal is basically to get me to be able to do it without her or like build a team and they can do it without me obviously. But it's so nice because I've used a consultant in the past and none of it was really like, they were great really, but it wasn't like super transparent and you weren't like, I don't know, I just feel like it was, they were doing their job and obviously like they don't really want you to know because then you can like do it without them. This consultant, it almost feels like I'm in school and I'm learning so much. And if y'all didn't know, which you probably, I don't know why you would know this unless you've heard me say this somewhere, but my mom and my grandma owned two companies when I was a kid, like growing up. And they were actually in Neiman's. It was a bedding and a drapery company and they were got in Neiman's like really quickly. Um, so I do know a lot of like the random verbiage because I grew up around it and like hearing it. They closed that company. Oh, like companies. God, I'm tired, guys. Probably was when my parents had divorced when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. But anyways, I grew up there and I would I would go and I would like work in the shop is what we called it. And I would work. Like, I would go. I would like make cute little purses. I would like clean up. I would like separate all the yards and like do all that stuff. Just kind of take me back to my childhood. So I did a bunch of stuff for that, and then this week we have two events for a friend of mine. Community dinner party and then an influencer dinner party. You guys will probably recognize a lot of the girlies in the influencer dinner party. Not dinner party. It's like we're going to the ranch. I'm really tired right now, guys. This is like a little snow day. Pretty much all my stuff got canceled. I really just want to bundle up and watch Country Strong, but got things too. So we're gonna get to that soon. I'm drinking my third coffee of the day, but to be fair, I've been awake since 5 a.m., so that's fine. I also have some new wallpapers coming in to really want to wallpaper my bathroom, master bedroom, the uh, hosting closet, potentially the off or the closet room. We'll see. This soup, by the way, so I'll show you guys the recipe. Chicken and rice soup. You add lemon, you add a lot of dill, add a ton of spinach. It's amazing. If y'all want the recipe, it is right here. Screenshot. Also, the recipe journals are on pre-order. By the time this vlog comes out, I don't know, they're gonna be restocking very, very, very soon. So if you guys want one, they're probably available. If not, they're on pre-order and you will get yours like very shortly. They're on their way to us right now, but I can't like promise a date as I'm talking in real time. I've also just added like, I don't know how to describe it. This little corner brings me so much joy. Um, I've added some cute little like books, cookbooks that I'm constantly grabbing for. My garden planner, okay? Need to get on that. I need you to understand what happened to me this morning. It's actually not a big deal. I don't know why I'm setting it up that way. Woke up at five um, and then I was going to hot Pilates at six. I was so excited. I haven't been to hot Pilates in forever and I keep having to cancel it for various reasons, right? So I forget that there's ice outside. Okay, important to know. Also, my car right now has a nail in it and I need to get it patched and I haven't done that. So I'm like really weird about driving it. But anyways, made myself a coffee. I walk outside like doo -doo 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 -doo, like actually excited to go and work out that early, which you know is rare. Like you go do it, but you don't want to. And I slip and fall and sweat my coffee all over myself. Didn't go to Pilates because there was ice everywhere and there was just no way I was gonna get out that quickly. So I did a little Pilates class here. It's seven now. I've just been like working on my laptop and I need to shower. I am dry brushing these days. And by that I mean it's day two of dry brushing. Here's the thing, like I love the idea, but when you are self tanning in the summer, like does it just take off your tanner? Like it's actually so hard being a girl. There's so many things to do and they all hurt each other, honestly. So anyways, I'm gonna go do that, make some breakfast, and then today I have um, calls and meetings literally all day. I have a call with a friend today, another like entrepreneur friend, and she's gonna take me through her notion and how she does everything and completely organizes her life. And then she's like literally set aside like four hours and just spend your whole day doing that. I have three hours after the call and I'm gonna just go through and get my notion going. Hopefully I'm able to use it. I have never gotten so many DMs than when I posted a notion on my laptop story at Dry Bar. That was not for me, that was for my editor. Um, but so many questions about it, I don't know how to use it yet, okay? I like using it when other people make it, but I'm gonna make it myself and have everything streamlined there. So, um, I will keep y'all posted. 
and maybe I can help be helpful. Okay, like we'll see about that. I don't know. I'm rare. I'm very technologically challenged. It's something I've really learned about myself and come into at the ripe age of 26. You know. So, anyways, I'm gonna go shower and get cozy for a day at home. And then tonight I'm hosting Needlepoint Club, so I need to make some chicken and dumplings and just get some things going. Oh, I also just placed my order for epidemic gardening. That's exciting. Okay, I know I look weird with this right now, but like, honestly, I don't care right now, okay? Like, I mean, I clearly do because I'm messing with it. <sighs> There's only so much I can do, okay? I have a headache, it's fine, whatever. I just got off the call with my friend Ali and it was a life-changing call. I learned so much about business and it's been like 45 minutes that I just like had no idea. Like, for example, I'm starting a blog and I'm repurposing all my old content and then I'm also gonna be posting all my YouTube videos and all like, it'll be like three blog posts for the YouTube video and every single podcast episode because that's SEO. Like there's just so many things that are like obvious, but I don't know why I didn't do it and so many businesses do that. Like that's why there's blog sections on like clear stem or something because people are Googling it and they find your website, like duh. Because it just seems so obvious and I felt like blogs were dead, but like blogs were so important and we went through like SEO with like other websites and stuff and she explained it all to me and I was like, oh my God. And then we also went through Notion and I'm gonna go and organize our whole life on there today. So I will have Allie's like website and stuff linked. I don't know if she's, I, I don't even know like if she's taking cards or anything like that, but at the very least, like she has a YouTube channel. You can learn all this stuff and like the planning and the notion stuff on her YouTube channel. So go check that out. It was a very incredible experience. So I'm going to eat some lunch, drink some Olipop and get to work. Okay, there are things to do. We are optimizing our lives, people. We are, creating systems so we can have more free time. That's basically the, that's not even like the whole thing. It's not even really about free time, it's more so just like being optimized, but also free time. Anyways, this is like more for like business owners. Like it, it is a lot of work to do that stuff. So I'm not making sense, but honestly it's cause I have a headache and I could not really talk right now. I'm gonna get to work, start my notion and everything. And then I will talk to you guys after. I'm having a little midday slump and I'm about to get on some calls. So I changed into my house guest merch. I made myself a little snack bowl. It's literally just one snack and I would just, I couldn't get creative. I didn't have much else, okay? I'm gonna get on these calls. I'm gonna have a coffee in like an hour and like knock out the second half of my day. Oh, I also laid down for 10 minutes. You just lay down, relax, no phone, nothing, 10 minutes. I wake up and I'm like refreshed and it's amazing, but I'm tired. So we're gonna, we're figuring this out. I'm also moving the headband around to, you know, my hair looks, rough right now, so just like cut me some slack. I'm making chicken and dumplings. It's really good. This is the first time that I'm actually gonna have an ice cream scooper for the biscuits because I do make the biscuits myself. Um, it's actually pretty simple, very easy. And the girls are coming over in like an hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna get to work. But chicken and dumplings, so, so good. My God, like honestly, this might be the best thing I made. Like, it's, it's not like healthy, but like who cares? It's very good. I got a package from, how do you say this? The soy? Maggie Sellers, my new friend, is an investor. And she saw that I was really not drinking that much lately. And she sent these over, so I'm really excited to try them. Perfect for needlepoint night. I think I'm gonna try this one. Um, it looks amazing. This is the one I've seen everywhere. I didn't even realize it had bottles, but like, how cute. It's funny because like when I am drinking alcohol, like I don't drink ever when I'm like home cooking, but all of a sudden since we like started doing dry January, I like have to have a drink all the time. Like a cute little drink, not obviously like alcohol. Taste test. Here we go. Oh, it's very good. It's very refreshing. Wait, I really, really like it. It's adaptogen rich. Wow, sweet, so good. I love these.
Look at how cute my little makeshift setup is. I'm so annoyed. I just filmed my entire chicken and dumplings recipe on TikTok and the video deleted. Just, I went to TikTok my drafts to finish it and it's gone and it was so cute. So anyways, I already showed you all the recipe, but it's really good. It seems a lot more difficult than it is and I love it. But in the meantime, before everyone arrives, I have some new wallpaper samples that arrived for the hosting closet. Yes, I know there's nothing more extra than a hosting closet and then also, I mean, there's nothing worse than me actually wallpapering it, but I'm going to. I'm thinking of, I like this one. Let's go see. Okay, so these are from, I believe, Spoonflower. I've been getting literally everything off Etsy. Macy's birthday present just came in the mail, got it off Etsy. All my wallpaper samples, got them off Etsy. I don't even know if I showed you guys, I cannot remember if I showed you all the new one for my bedroom. I like it a lot better than the first one. Okay, well, oh yeah, because it was like the 8x11, it's so small. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is definitely, it's like supposed to go this way, but okay. I wanted to have almost like a little southern chic moment. Like my taste has really changed so much. Like it's not actually super southern. I think realistically this is what I'm going to do. And then I got so many antique frames. Those are out on my dining table right now. Okay, let's see. Like this is almost, oh, you can't even really see it though. It's like a neutral if you think about it, okay? Oh, I just spent this one, so that's one on me. I will say the quality of these wallpapers are really nice. I actually really love this one. I just think like if it's over the whole room, I don't know. I'm also open to none at all, but I'm gonna do a TikTok so y'all can let me know more in real time. And then I got these little, um shelves for the wall over here the thing is like i thought they were going to be wider i don't know if this is like too thin but they could also go like centered here and i'm going to have different plates and different cookbooks and things i just feel like they might need to be wider i just don't know if there's a good size for ikea and they're going to go all the way up and down so but let me know what you all think oh my god i have been looking everywhere for my bagel garden mugs and here they are wow guys i'm literally talking about bagel garden mugs i'm wallpapering and i'm having needlepoint night like i am ready to be retired and i've been looking for these my stacking measuring cups stackable measuring cups there's nothing like them way better than the other ones okay let me tell you also really love this i'm not lying i'm, I'm never lying i mean i'm not exaggerating it's very good i just want to say that there's really nothing that brings me so much joy yes it's the middle of january my christmas tree's up okay whatever but there's nothing that brings me as much joy as it does of being home when it's cold out, the fire's on, I'm watching a podcast, I'm watching Impulsive, and I'm cooking, and I'm using a recipe in my recipe journal. I've actually almost filled up all of my dinner recipes, so I think I'm going to use more of the lunch like area, because honestly, a lot of them are the same. So, um, Anyways, updates that no one cares about. Dinner... Recipe journals out now or on pre-order. By the way, this um, stand is actually just a cookbook stand that Jessica got me for Christmas like two years ago and I use it literally all the time. I haven't been able to find it online. That's why I don't link it. If I ever find it online, I will link it for you. I'm pretty sure it's from Surlo Tab. I can't quite remember, but I haven't even seen it in store. And I remember she did tell me the actual site and like where it was from. And I remember I looked it in person and online and it's not available. So anyways, I'll try to link similar ones, but I love it. And then it just looks so cute. Like, obviously, on my counter. But anyways, like, there's just nothing better than this. And it smells amazing. And I'm just so at peace. I'm obsessed.
Needle Point Club was so fun. I think we put in a couple clips. I made a lot of progress. The girlies like really know what they're doing, but honestly, it's very helpful because I'm learning a lot. I got my stuff at Chaparral Needle Point, which is by Love Field. I took my grandma to a class there. It was really fun. And then the girls went somewhere on Lovers, and they like really liked the people working there. I love people working at Chaparral too. Also, there's a lot of good stencils and stuff on Etsy. I think I'm really gonna get into it this year. Like this is the year of Needle Point gardening and cooking and reading. Like I again. 85 so anyways my alarm didn't go off this morning i we they stayed over later so that, okay i'll sleep until 5 30 and then i i don't know what happened i woke up this morning at 2 in the morning because my alarm system was going off and people were calling me and then like i don't know i woke up at 7 45 like i don't know when that alarm i i don't know so it's now 8 15 and i'm on my way to my workout and then i'm going to my brain codes appointment today which I will say has helped me a ton. Literally freezing. Um, but if y'all are experiencing brain fog, anxiety, just anything that has to do with the brain, basically depression, um, I would highly recommend Brain Codes. It's like neurofeedback training. I literally sit there and I watch Gilmar Girls and they put these things on my brain and then I leave like 30 minutes later and they're so nice and it has helped me so it's like kind of like reprogramming your brain. I'm probably explaining this like completely wrong, but it has helped so much with brain fog. I really am not experiencing brain fog. I'll hit like a midday slump because I'm tired, but I'm not noticing even then that my brain fog gets a lot worse. And I will say overall, like my anxiety, I just, I, it feels so much better. The idea of this is that you only go for like six months and it's like retraining your brain. Whereas like talk therapy, which obviously is totally different. You just stay in for longer periods of time. This is like supposed to be like permanently like changing your brain and it's really interesting anyways for all my brain health girlies i know that i have some here because we all love dr amen i want to have someone on um from there for the podcast so we can like go into it because it is really interesting and i will say like i've done a lot of things like this kind of stuff like mental health wellness whatever and i will say like this is i mean i don't want to say it's done more for me than therapy only because i've been in therapy like my whole life i don't know it's it's definitely up there oh my gosh the icicles guys this is not real my car also wouldn't start for a second and i was like oh no but i'd already called an uber and then it started working so it was fine highly recommend it but i'm going to weightlifting and then i have brain codes and then i have a call i need to shower get home and then i need to go get a blowout and work from the chair tonight is our first friend of mine community event so we're doing a little dinner party which aka i rented out a restaurant like our not the whole restaurant but like a table at a restaurant so there's 30 of us going i think actually i think it's 26 at the table it sold out so quickly we also are introducing we've already done it friend of mine social club because homemaking is inherently social so we're going to be doing a lot of different events like we're going to do like a recipe journal club where everyone comes and there's a theme and you bring this one's going to be like drinks apps and treats i think and just like bring your favorite recipe and like make it too so like if you have a recipe journal I'll absolutely bring that you don't have to have a recipe journal you come and you bring your thing and we all try it out and do like have like a fun night it's very much so like a cookbook club but recipe journal so we're doing that we're gonna be doing a lot of different um like dinner parties in different cities and things like that so it's gonna be really fun i want to do events where it's like bring your grandma and things like that you know what i mean like that's so fun so anyways hope you guys are having a fabulous morning honestly maybe i just really needed to sleep because I feel good. Okay, I'm home. I have meetings in like 30 minutes. I'm proof watching a vlog right now. And I ordered breakfast from First Watch because I just like don't really have time to make anything. It's still like 20 degrees in Texas right now. My driveway is like the only in like part of my patio. I swear it's like the only place in Dallas that still has ice on it. And it's really bad. Like even when I was out just now, my neighbors were like, damn. Cause walking on it, I'm like just waiting to like humiliate myself again. But anyways, I got just some fruit and a little spinach wrap. This thing's really good. It's on like their healthy, their side menu thing. I don't care, it's really good. And then, not on their healthier side. Um, the million dollar bacon from First Watch. If y'all haven't had it, it is so good like i honestly need to learn how to make it i don't love making bacon because i just burn myself like i feel like consistently anyways i need to go to fedex to print out some menus for our dinner party tonight i'm so excited about the like social club arm a friend of mine we're gonna be doing so many different things and um if y'all have any what 
the hell? If y'all have any requests on things that you want, let me know. We're always listening, but I'm so excited. For my Dallas girls, there's gonna be a lot of events coming up, like a ton. And then I do wanna do other cities. I'm sure we'll do New York. That's definitely a given, but like where should we come next? Comment below where you guys want, because I need to know like where the demand is, you know? I'm gonna get to work. And then I'm gonna continue my work in the dry bar chair. My favorite place to be, you know? Look at how cute the minis are. I just ordered this template on Etsy. And then the back of them, it's all bows. Like, how perfect. I'm back, I got a blowout. I don't feel like I did a great job explaining like what I wanted. It's not like, it's not bad by any means, but I mean, honestly, it's actually no, it's totally fine. I think it's gonna be fun like once I brush it out. I don't know, I just feel like it looks like different. I do like it regardless. I just don't feel like I did a good job explaining. Anyways, um, so we have the event tonight. We have another event tomorrow. One of the companies that we're using tomorrow for this event canceled 24 hours before the event after like full confirmation, everything. Things happen, it's just like life of a business owner. Like not, obviously really not cool, but like things happen. So I've been calling every single picnic company in Dallas for the past hour and I have so many things I need to do. And it just, it is what it is. So we're learning to roll with the punches. Um, also random, but this perfume, it's the by Rosie Jane, like anything from them. I'm pretty sure I got it in PR. I think it's just been sitting here. And I was with Keaton last week and she smelled so good. I'm like, what is it? And she said, it's this stuff. It might be a different scent by them though. And I was like, oh my God, I have that. And I've just been using it and it is so good. So anyways, by Rosie Jane, highly recommend. I'm really excited for tonight. It's just like, now I don't have much time to problem solve with tomorrow's event. So today is the community event and then tomorrow is like the influencer event. Friend of mine's like heavily focused on more of like community events because I, I want to like invest more in like the customer or the consumer and kind of like create something around that. I also just like love hanging out with you guys. Like it's so fun when we get to do things like that. Like I love doing stuff like that. I'm also starting a blog. I don't know if I talked about this. So I'm doing that. Can you guys tell I'm frazzled? Like now I'm like, oh my God. Really a lot is going on, but it's okay. So I think I'm gonna wear this dress today, which is like a little bit extra short in these red heels, but like I just want to. And then I'm gonna wear my fur coat to really just seal the deal. Um, so that is my look for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup so I can get that filmed for um, a TikTok. And oh, I wanted to show you guys. This is the whole reason I even took my camera out. Look at how cute. So the tray I just threw makeup that I use out, like I'm not, it's not one of those like magnetic trays or anything. I just thought it was cute and I like having this is done for this primer. By the way, I really like Sudo Glowy Primer. Love having all this stuff just like out. And I think this color is so cute. It's different than most marble. I just, I really like it. I'm actually dying at myself as always because I actually have to go and wear this to at home because I have to run very last minute to get new tablecloths and stuff because. Uh, the cancellation earlier, so I problem solved. I figured it out. Um, it is unfortunate, very unfortunate. Also, speaking of while we're here, I meant to say this before. Um, if you're a small business in Dallas and you want to do like anything together, like if you guys want to be involved in any events or whatever, um, definitely reach out because we're wanting to really work with like small businesses. So, anyways, I also need a good, like, really reliable picnic company recommendation if you guys have a good one they're just kind of hard to find so i mean we have a lot of them but i feel like a lot of them aren't even like in business right now anyways um here's my outfit for my casual dinner okay it's a little extra and by a little i mean it's very extra but i'm just kind of obsessed i need to remember to keep my hair behind my ears for this one okay macy's gonna be like kenzie i'm literally not gonna be seen with you I'm gonna be like, yeah, I get that. I decided to take off the coat for my little at-home trip. I have about 20 minutes in here. My dress isn't even fully tied in the back, but like, this is what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's so cold right now, like literally for today. I don't even know where to tomorrow on the ranch. I'm like, kind of glad I'm not going where Nicole and I are riding horses tomorrow because riding horses when it's cold, but like this cold, it's piercing, it is. At least I can be at my favorite place. I really don't need a basket, actually. No, uh, yes, uh, smaller. Here we go. These are the best plates. Uh, these are what I use for everything. And I just saw they have a big bowl. So I'm gonna get this. 
just because I need to have it, honestly, myself. These are just the most versatile, so I'm getting these. I've made pretty good progress given, you know, my circumstances. I found a better cup color, okay? Here we are. It matches the brands more. One, two. Oh god, okay. One, two, two, three, four, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank god. Okay, I like everything. I feel good. Like this very last minute works. Hi guys. Okay, we made it with, uh, we're one minute later. I mean, we made it on time. Makeup looks great. Thanks. I need to fix my lip product. I brought my brush. I think I'm gonna leave the coat. I am too. Do they know about the brush? Yeah, guys, that $75 brush I bought last week. No. Listen, like, I didn't buy it because I wanted to. I didn't have a choice. I had to make an order on Sephora. Do you have it in here? Yeah, it's in my bag. It's because I had to make an order on Sephora because I had to get other stuff that I forgot and I couldn't get it. It, it doesn't matter, whatever. And I decided I'm going to try it out. It's amazing. I make sure it looks so Yo, she left it in my car for like a day and my hair looked great. Yes. Oh, it's hard to open right here. Wait, will you tie this? It's tied. No, the top one? Oh, that's a button. Oh, it is? You might need to be standing. <laughs> whenever I wear black like it's just it's not my color um okay so it's like 6 30 the next day I'm actually about to head to Pilates last night was so fun I want to do so many more the girls were amazing they all just had a really great time they made so many friends like basically everything that I wanted to happen for the night happened and I am just like so excited so whew, i'm going to hot pilates which i'm excited for i'm wanting to go i i literally don't think i've been in like two months maybe a month i don't know maybe I'm being dramatic but i used to go i used to go like five days a week and now because they do weightlifting i do like one or two I'm supposed to go on tuesday but you guys know i slipped and i still coffee all over myself yeah my driveway it still has ice all over it like which is fine, it's just more so like I'm traumatized from like humiliating myself in my driveway. Even though no one saw, like I'm humiliated. So, I'm gonna change, make a coffee, and head out. Today we're going to the ranch, which is gonna be exciting. Um, I have to get a bunch of stuff like set this morning. I got all that stuff as you guys saw from um, at home. I can do a little haul, but when I get home, oh my god. I need to do all that, and then I have a bunch of calls, and then really big. <sighs> I'm in the middle of cleaning everything from at home, but I got these two massive bowls. I have the smaller version. Again, they just all match these which i already have like 14 you can never have too many of these plates they're the best plates ever i will try to link them um i've tried before and they weren't online but i will try to link them because they are pretty much the only plates i honestly use for dinner parties like i have so many cute like decorative ones and i use these for everything this is gifting that i'm bringing these are my utensils you guys probably saw it in my well if you haven't watched the how i host a dinner party video it's my favorite video i've ever posted on youtube also i think these are also from at home but i already have them um anyways i got a new utensil set they're really cute lots of trash i just cleaned i, I just washed and like took off all the stickers of these little brown cups so those are pretty much perfect 
And then I have these um, tablecloths and then these are the napkins. So I'm just going to keep these in the bag. And then also from last night before I put everything away, I wanted to share with you guys. So Cassandra literally drove in from San Antonio. Okay, how crazy. She has a small business called Shop Girl Almighty and she brought me a gift. Like how cute, so funny. Like just block him. This is amazing. World's best ex-girlfriend. Like I'm obsessed. That's hilarious. Oh my God, like this stuff is so cute. And it's a all-inclusive like boutique online. Oh my God, that's like actually hilarious. But like so much stuff, it's really, really cute. So I will link it below. This is really soft, wow. Wait, I love. Oh, cute. Wait, so cute and the matching shorts. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So anyways, I'll link it below. Really funny stuff. Thank you so much, Cassandra. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get everything done. about 40 minutes until I need to take my calls and then once those are over I need to be fully ready because I have to head I actually think I need to take a call in the a call in the car like why do I tell everyone like every single detail like you guys don't even care that there's I could tell you I just don't even need to tell you that like anyways um I need to pick up our food from Mendocino Farms which by the way is my favorite lunch place i door dash from them at least like once or twice a week like i love this sometimes and, like sometimes i'll get like hooked where i'm door dashing from them like three days in a row it's really incredible these mugs are my favorite i lost them for a couple days and they were just in the hosting closet what is y'all's favorite iced coffee because I, it's really hard to find my favorite one it's calfia farms iced coffee cold brews are just like really acidic and i respond to them very weirdly okay I should have looked up one of those like curl girl makeup routines. The best news though, it's like not even that cold outside right now. Like I was like walking outside and like totally fine. Which is crazy because it was 10 degrees. We got so lucky. I was scared. I mean, I knew everyone was gonna come because they're good friends. But I was scared that I it was gonna like kill everyone, you know? Also, fits. Oh my god, so sweet. This morning I went on the couch. Oh hello. Hi. Yes. This morning, I, okay, bub, I love you, but I need some space. I need to do my makeup, okay? Someone's gotta pay the bills around here, boy. All right? Okay, he's like so clean. I'm at home with him literally 24 seven. I guess since I left last week, like, he is just a way more sensitive dog than Coconut's ever been. Like, Coconut obviously is the more high maintenance one because she's handicapped and she just, like, barks and that is annoying. But other than that, like, She's perfect in public, and Fitz is like perfectly behaved at home, but like wild outside. But he's really sensitive. Like he, if anyone's mad at him, like I know this sounds like so psycho what I'm saying, but if you guys have a dog, you understand. He is so sensitive. If I have to get onto him for anything, I mean, he's like crying for days. And if I leave, oh my God, he's like unwell. And I'm like, I spend more time with these dogs probably than like any owner spends with their dogs because I mean, besides everyone who works from home, so not any owner. Okay, you guys, whatever. Like sometimes I speak and I'm like, that's just like not what I meant and not how I meant to say it, you know? Point being is that like, not only do I work from home, I'm a homebody. So I am with these dogs 24 seven and I leave and he just, oh my God. This morning I sat on the couch to like post the episode promo. By the way, new episodes up with McGuire. McGuire is a good friend of mine. She has like a really, really crazy um, career. And it's basically just like her journey in the corporate world. And also um, she has like really crazy experience with like who she's assistant and stuff. And she's like just talking like career stuff and like how to build your dream career. But now she's like an entrepreneur and like doing much different things. It's also good because she's a mom. So we talk about like mom life and whatnot. She's really cool, like you guys will love her. Anyways, he like literally like laid his head on me and was like I'm not moving. I'm like, dude, I have to leave for a couple hours today and I'll be back and I'm always with you. And then he just makes me feel so horrible. And the craziest thing is he loves his dog sitter. And if I'm gone for any period of time, like I have the dog sitter come like a lot, like, 
for a check-in. It's just, oh my gosh, like, what do you guys do when your dogs are super emo? Like, he makes me feel so guilty. I'm like, listen, like, someone has got to work around your fits, and it's not gonna be you. Update on the Bondell brushes, by the way, I love them. So Bondell, actually we talked about this with McGuire because she is a consultant and like does a bunch of stuff with them. Um, okay, what did I do here? It's a makeup brush subscription. So you get new brushes like every three months and it's for the people who just like realistically are not going to clean their makeup brushes. But also like even when you're, um, I just think a better lifespan of brushes, but I really, like the brushes from them like i've been using them because i have them just in um my like big stack of brushes and i didn't even realize until yesterday when i was filming get ready for me with tiktok that like i've pretty much made the switch from every brush that i use to the bondel brushes i really like them b-o-n-d-e-l-l -L. really genius idea clown but you have to just like let me live for a second and trust the process it does look really rough also like sitting like this oh my gosh okay also random but my friend Janelle she is so cool I've talked about her on my YouTube channel like a couple times actually but she has this podcast to all the people podcast shows in Dallas and she's just like amazing like she's one of those people that every time I hang out with her I just like feel great like I just I love her She's coming today, but um, she is finally opening. I, I'm saying this because I know that I mentioned this prior. She's finally opening um, a studio in Dallas where you can like record podcasts at, film things at. Like, there's it's like a media company, and then she also has like, this really cool studio. Um, and it is so beautiful. I haven't been able to go in person, and I'm gonna be in New York during the uh, like launch party, sadly. But if any of y'all are in Dallas and you're looking for a good place to like record podcasts, like I will be using it, I'm sure. Like I have to. Like when I have guests, because this year, I'll just say it, we're really manifesting Colleen Hoover on the show. We've been in talks many times and I just like, we gotta get her on. Like we really got, we really gotta get her on. So if anyone, um, it was like her bestie, you guys let her know that like House Guest is a great podcast for her to come on. Anyways. Um, so like manifesting like when Colleen comes we're gonna record there, you know, but I I think it's the most beautiful studio ever like the new dairy Austin one by the way is also really beautiful, but So many podcast studios are just ugly and like the lighting's bad and It's just not the vibe So if you guys are like starting a podcast in Dallas or something or you just need a studio to film Maybe you take photos out like whatever It is stunning. I feel like it's gonna be like the new Dallas one It's amazing I recently just have no, not no interest in drinking out, like, I'm losing interest and I don't know if it's just because it's cold outside and I'm not really wanting to go out, but I also just don't want my social life to revolve around alcohol. Like, Macy's really good about doing a bunch of fun stuff, and so am I, obviously, like, I plan this stuff a lot, not that stuff, but, like, I do follow through on, like, ideas and stuff I have. You just really have to have the right kind of friends. Um, that are like down to like do the random fun stuff that's chill versus like going out and eat like I love a good lunch I love a good dinner. I love drinks. I love I love my friends I love my friends who even love that stuff like it's it's no like it's nothing bad, but like I just I Don't know. I don't want that to be like the only thing in my social life Like I don't want it to like go away by any means, but I just don't want my social life to just revolve around like going Eating and drinking like you know what I mean and honestly like when people say Oh, that's all there is to do in Dallas. Like, there's so many other things to do. Like, there's literally so many other things to do. Also, a lot of the fun stuff that, like, I want to do isn't really based off of, like, location necessarily. It's, like, Needlepoint Club. You know what I mean? Or, like, Cookbook Club. Or, obviously, there's always dinner parties. Or, you know, certain movie marathons where you, like, make the food that they're eating and you serve it during that time. Like, there's so many fun things you can do no matter where you live. Like, I feel like when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, like, oh my god, I'm too cool. Like... There's nothing to do here because that's what everyone says. So you'd be like, yeah, like, no, whatever. And like, I heard someone say once that like being super bored is like a sign of laziness. And I was like, what? And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, I get what they're saying. Like, I think it's like a really drastic approach, but I get what they're saying in the sense of like, you just aren't putting in the effort to like make new things and whatever. Um, so 2024 is a year of the wholesome activities and the wholesome hobbies. Like, I don't just want to be 
like going to the same restaurants doing the same thing every single weekend and I love that stuff and like watch me be like no this is what I want to do so there's like nothing bad about it even like going out it's like I'm going out less but like I love going out and like when I was doing that all the time that's what I wanted to be doing what I want to be doing right now in this part of my life is wholesome activities and hobbies okay like he, literally the attitude did you go you guys saw that right okay I finished my makeup my lip products are in my purse so I'll do that after chugging my drink and then I'm going to get dressed so for the ranch I always just wear obviously jeans boots I'm gonna wear a sweater I just layer up a little bit I have this favorite daughter sweater I'll show you guys that I got for Christmas two years ago and it's like the perfect chocolate brown like is it cashmere I don't know cashmere sweater it's really great oh my god okay I'm trying to like wake back up when I do a heated workout it like kills me for the day like I'm so tired but it's just it feels so good this Cezanne scarf for sure. I really like Cezanne scarves. I've gotten a couple this season. Okay, I have a pair of skinny jeans, but I'm always like, I'm like so scared because if you do like a, I don't even know if I'm describing it, like, like a model off duty look where it's skinny jeans, boots over a bell sweater, like it can look really cute. I might actually try it and just see if you have to the right sweater for it. And this is not the right sweater for it. And out of all these sweaters, like, I don't know if I have the right one, which I know is so ridiculous. But it's such a specific look. Okay, like, we're gonna try it without, and I, we'll see, because it could look really, like, embarrassing. Okay, like, I don't hate it, and it feels very, like, almost like equestrian. Um, maybe I'll wear this over it instead of, like, it's just, like, a very thick shirt. Like, I like this vibe. I don't know, I feel like you guys were gonna hate the skinny jeans. Um, but also, I was gonna wear, this is that sweater I was telling you guys about. So, I probably will bring this, and then I'm also, as a backup, going to bring, like, a big brown jacket. I'm just gonna put this all in my car. And see, hope for the best. I have a car, uh, okay. These jeans give me, like, literally no shape, and, like, they're still, like, forming to my body, so. Oh yeah, like, I feel like this is cute. Like, I don't mind this vibe. We gotta like, situate the sweater. But I feel like even I could probably get away with just the sweater today. But I'll obviously bring the jackets in the car. Um, like, I like the vibe. Okay, I feel like this is cute. We're doing this. This is like what it's gonna be. accessories with it but anyways the event was so much fun if y'all ever need to go or want to go horseback riding um i do go to broken bow ranch it's not broken bow oklahoma it's broken bow ranch it's 30 minutes south of dallas it's amazing tell them i sent you uh i go like really often i've gone for the past probably like two and a half years i love being there it is like my favorite place ever is in seagoville so amazing so anyways we had our event there, we had food from Mendocino Farms, my favorite. What I get from there, by the way, anytime I go in person, I get every single drink imaginable. Like, I just refill it a billion times. The juices and, like, the little, I don't even know what they're called, 
but they're amazing like the drinks that they make there and you can't get them on delivery or catering and it's hard it's like horrible it's heartbreaking but so if you go in person, you need to get those, but the knots are fried chicken sandwich, the knots are fried chicken salad, and then literally anything, when they do like the peach salad, all that stuff, but what I get is a knots are fried chicken sandwich, and it is unbelievable, so good. So, anyways, it was so much fun. We also had those hats that are amazing. I'm actually gonna go back, I'm gonna go to one of the stores, um, I think with Nicole very soon to get my own, because we just like didn't have time, and it was like fine, whatever. And yeah, we just did a bunch of stuff. It was like literally so much fun. It was like my dream event. It was in collaboration with Opera Hours for the espresso martini and the nightcap cards. And it was just amazing. Everyone had so much fun. I feel like it was like very different for like an influencer. Right? So anyways, it was fun. I'm going to go do all the dishes now because I brought everything back. And I really want to get in bed early and needlepoint and watch Trisha Paytas videos. So that is my plan. You go, when you guys do your skincare, do your eyes get so irritated? I decided I'm gonna treat myself tonight and I'm going to needlepoint while I watch Gilmore Girls. So let me show you what I've been working on. I've decided I'm like really gonna lean into this whole needlepoint thing. Here's the thing, here's oh, the progress I've made. I understand that the number one thing in needlepoint is that the stitches need to go the same way. Okay, it was my first time I messed up, okay? So whatever, it'll be cute, it's fine. Anyways, I'm just gonna needlepoint tonight. It's gonna be so peaceful. Okay, so ignore my bedding and I just threw everything on my bed right now. But this year I really wanna make my room super cozy. So I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of the plans. Like I have the bones here, but I really, really want to wallpaper. I don't like that one, I do like this one, but I saw that the wallpaper that I have in my office, which is just that blue wall, I'll, I'll show you guys really quick. Like this vibe of a wallpaper. They have this in chocolate brown, which is what I've been looking for for so long. So I would love to do that all in this room and make it really cozy. And then what I really want is to get a Samsung TV like I have in the living room here and use it as like art above the dresser. And then I can like actually have shows on and stuff here. Just because I've actually been getting back into watching TV. I mean, literally watches one show once it, you know, wants to get back. So if I'm back into it, whatever. Guys, like, am I well? Guys, like, I'm not well. I also think I'm having like, an allergic reaction. But my room is really just like makeshift. And it's like the thing I have the absolute least attention to. And I want it to feel like a space that I just feel so like cozy. And I love. I'm going to have another one of these little non-alcoholic wines these are so good they're so refreshing oh my god there's just nothing better than a nice little cute drink at night but i want an art tv there so those are expensive so it's gonna be a long time but i want the wallpaper and i want the tv and i want like new bedding even i like what i have but i at least need to fix like maybe some pillows or something i don't know i gotta figure something out so maybe add some like frames over there of photos like just like make it a little bit more personal, I think would be good. Um, so I really, I did order an entire roll of that wallpaper just cause I feel like I will love it and I would like to like actually put it up because with those samples, like it's so hard to really like get the vibe. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I need an actual like entire roll to see how I feel and like put it right there or something so I can get more of the vision. But I'm telling you that Homeware, the YouTube channel, like, really did something to me. Like, I need everything to feel cozy and just personal. And, like, I just need it to be amazing, you know? So, I like, don't know what I'm having a little reaction to. But I hope you guys had a fabulous day. I hope you all liked this vlog. Stay tuned for my next ones. Love y'all. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll talk to you soon. I was introduced to this woman, Ruth, okay? And she is from, I think, Hungry for Homes blog. But if I can recommend anything to you guys, like, go 
watched this Homeworthy video. It was so inspiring to me. She basically, she lives on land in Pennsylvania. She has a garden, she has all this stuff. And like the way that she just has her life is like my dream, like my goal. So a combination of being introduced to my new idol, Ruth, uh, Martha Stewart's masterclass, uh, listening to a shit ton of Martha Stewart podcast and this 10X book, I just feel very inspired and like I want to take certain areas of my life to the next level. 